What's up guys? Uh, so haven't seen or posted anything in a bit, but been uh, pretty um, kept up with the GTP lately. So um, basically the car is ready to go. So believe it or not. Um, yeah, my, sorry about my glasses. My other pair broke. These are crooked. But anyway, so the other car runs. Um, the only thing that's left is to finish up the tune a little bit. Um, I'm not sure how far Nate's got on that. And then I'm assuming he did the rear brake lines already. They were rotted out because it sat so long before I got it. And then it sat outside all winter. So, and then um, some paint work for the SD lip and the spoiler and the GPO grills for the front. And that should be about it. Um, clean it up, obviously, for the show. Street Machine. Yeah, it, I'm planning on taking it to Street Machine Nationals next weekend, so that's awesome. I honestly didn't think I'd even be able to drive it this year. But here I am, um, third week in July coming and taking it to Street Machine, so it's exciting. It's the first time ever driving it. Um, so to break down the mod list on this, <laughs> there goes my phone. Um, so to break down the mod list, it's got diamond forged pistons, 9.5 to one compression. It's got ARP main, um, rod and side bolts. It's got ported heads with, um, I think they're 150 pound valve springs. Um, I bought the lawn block from a buddy, but he can't, he said he can't remember what springs he put on, but he said the heads are cleared for up to over 600 lift. So they're either 136 pound springs or 150 pound, <clears throat> but I'm not sure yet. Um, it's, it's got my old seven inch push rods, LS seven lifters. Um, got my XP cam in there, got double roller timing chain with the, the crank gear was chamfered to the correct degree. Um, the lower intake is ported to match the heads. Um, we've got a brand new full stack ZZP intercooler. Um, I replaced the blower with a new one. Um, got the 2.8 2 inch pulley on there. And we've got the Steven Chesser um, supercharger belt wrap kit. Um, trying to think what else. Um, I always got the LQ4 math. Um, um, I'm trying to think. North Star throttle body, cold air intake, SLP headers, three inch downpipe, three inch full exhaust, shift kit. Um, we replaced the torque converter. Hmm. Um, I think, oh, we got uh, polyurethane motor and transmission mounts and upper dog bone mounts. So it's going to vibrate like a lot. <laughs> I don't know how much. I haven't even sat in it since it ran. So, um, anyway, but yeah, I'm expecting it to make between 350 to 360 wheel horsepower. So, yep, I'm excited. If you're going to be at Street Machine Nationals in St. Paul, Minnesota next weekend, Come and check it out. Um, say hi if I'm there. So introduce yourself. You know, I'm not shy. Um, I'd be willing to talk to anybody. So <sighs> what else? I think we'll skip on to the next thing now. Okay, so I, ha I haven't touched the daily. I just, you know, clean it and drive it. And that's about it. Maintain it. It looks really freaking clean though still. That's a good, good shine right there. Yep. Wheels still looking good. I know it's not an SVT, but it has the caps. So what I did today is I went to the store and I bought this uh, Meguiar's. It's the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. I put it on the entire car, um, the windows, the paint, and even the wheels. So, we're gonna see how it works. Uh, I didn't do it as the directions say, which say you need to wash the car, rinse it, and then spray it on, and then rinse it off. And that, well that's 
that's how you're supposed to do it normally. The initial application, you uh, wash the car um, and then spray it, spray the ceramic wax on, and then just dry it. But what I did is the car is clean, and then I just sprayed it on like you would a normal spray wax and then wiped it off, made sure I got all the streaks out. And it was just a, just a dry application. I feel like that would work the best. Uh, I did watch a video on the guy testing, um, doing it three different ways. So the first way he did it was he did just a, just a dry application like I did. And then he did the second one, which was he sprayed it on and then, uh, like he, he sprayed the, sprayed the panel with water and then, um, sprayed it on and then wiped it off. And then the third panel, he sprayed it or he rinsed it and then sprayed it on and then rinsed it off. And the water actually beaded the most with the dry application, and it ran off the fastest. So, we'll try it. Um, yeah, the ceramic wax. And then I just picked up another bottle of quick wax and quick detailer. I really like McGuire's stuff. So, but yeah, I'm getting ready. I'm going to drive this up to Minnesota, to my friend's house, and then get my other car. So here's what I, I did get for the Focus. These are Eibach lowering springs. These are the Sportline springs, which lower the front two inches and lowers the rear 2.2 inches. <laughs> so the car will have like no wheel gap at all. Like the tires will be practically touching the fenders. And uh, I'll just... I'm sure you guys know how much wheel gap there is. <laughs> like, I can put, look at that. I could put my fist in there and it's still, there's still room. That's crazy. Look at that. Yeah, so that, you can say goodbye to that wheel gap. The front, it's not as bad, you know. Because these have the still factory springs. I can't get a fist in there, but I can still get my hand in there, you know, pretty easily. Say goodbye to that wheel gap. <sighs> yeah, and it'll probably handle better, too, because it'll be lower center of gravity. So, yeah, um, thanks for checking out my video, guys. Um, hope to Hopefully, I get a bunch of footage of my car next week and at Street Machine. So... Thanks, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.